out now to Lisa Fernandez, who's branching out and getting ready for a new world record to be set. Lisa, looks like the kids are having a great time today. As I said, I'm disappointed that you're not dressed as a tree as well, as they're hoping to make the largest gathering of people dressed as trees. <laughs> All right, Libby, if they're short here at Ellenbrook Primary, I will absolutely do that. As you can see, and you're right, Guinness Book uh, comes out today and it's actually celebrating 60 years and that's why the kids are doing this in conjunction with children's author Anthony, uh, Andy Griffiths. Andy, I'm really excited to have you here. Now, Great these here. kids are like, oh, you've got the 52-storey treehouse. Yes. I'm going to ask... Tell us again about your inspiration for some of the stories, because in this particular one, uh, like we said before, there's a live snakes and ladders uh, in the treehouse with yes. actual snakes and real ladders and all that stuff. Yep. How do you do it? Well, look, it's a treehouse I always wanted when I was growing up, but <laughs> yep. I never had. Yep. It's a very sad story. Oh, and one day Eddie. I asked Terry, yep. my illustrator, yep. and great friend, I said, can you draw me a treehouse with a bowling alley and a tank full of man-eating sharks? <laughs> so cool. And anything else you think up. And that became the blueprint for the 13th story, and we we were off. I saw some pictures on your Twitter and quite a few fans are adults and they want photos with you. Have you found our, that? Our books are for all ages because yeah. we understand it's the parents and the grandparents and the teachers and the librarians who are reading the books with the kids and they should not be shut out. So the, the great books I loved Magic Faraway Tree. Yes, yes, that the, was in a blind. The, that was my favourite. Yeah, well, yeah. That, that was mine too. <laughs> and everyone can enter that space. So, yeah, come one, come all. What did you do before yeah. being a children's author? I was a um, high school English teacher and uh, before that a punk rock singer. Um, but, but you know, I was so bad I couldn't even sing for a punk rock band. So, but I loved writing the words. And how thrilled are you to see all these kids dressed up as trees? This is, my dream is to be in a sea of live trees. And you are. And, um, they're just wonderful. Yeah. Hey, uh, look, you, you do have uh, one of your books, uh, The Bum Book which is the, called... The Day My Bum Went Psycho. That's right, The yes. Day My Bum Went Psycho. Now, I got in a little bit of trouble earlier, Libby, because the children started up a bum chant uh, on live TV. So the, the principal of Ellenbrook, Neil, has actually written me oh, out yeah. a... Neil, what have you done? Yeah, I'm sorry, Lisa. You've got a really potty mouth. <laughs> <laughs> and for bad language, saying bum repeatedly, one week in time out, which will not be a surprise to you. Can you just think that, Libby? I haven't had one of these. I haven't had one of those since I've been like, it's been 10 years, I, I think. I thought you were going to tell me I that mean, you never okay, had Neil, one of those. I thought, come on years. now, Lisa. <laughs> Maths was not your strong point. Libby, I've had about a million of those. So, look, these kids are going to be breaking a, a world record shortly. And, yes. Andy, you're going to be signing your books uh, through Dimix today? Uh, yes, yeah, all around Perth. All around Perth. Yeah. All right. I might just ask this little one down here. Now, what sort of tree are you? I'm a gum nut tree. A gum nut tree. Uh, Face the camera so everyone can see you. And who made your costume? I did. Oh, she gorgeous. made the costume. And what sort of tree are you? Um, I don't know. Good. And a I don't troll, know, kind of a troll tree. tree. Oh, okay. No. And your Nana made your costume? Yes. And let's let's see if we can just pan out here, Gareth. Libby, I'm going to show you these children. Look at them all. Their parents and grandparents and family members have gone to so much trouble. Have a look. To, to dress in these costumes and they've got they've got branches and they've got everything. So and Andy's there. I've got to say it's been a real buzz being out at Ellenbrook Primary School today. So thank you so much, kids. And good luck for your world record, Andy. Thank you again for being here and coming along. It's a pleasure to meet you. 52 Story Treehouse is out today. And a big shout out to everyone at Ellenbrook. Give us a wave, kids. What a gorgeous forest. Thank you very much, Lisa, and we'll see you soon.